I received this book today, Senjutsu to Ninjutsu by Shigetsu Doshi, Doshi Shigetsu. Uh, I said that was a fake name, and then I looked, and the author also agrees that that's probably a fake name. Especially when you're dealing with something like Senjutsu. If, if you see the name Doshi, then, you know, this is, is obviously not someone's real name. It's like a title. It's like, um, you know, uh, Kagakure Doshi in the Bujinkan, um, that kind of stuff, Kain Doshi. Uh, that type of name, basically implying that it's a Taoist sage. Uh, this book, it's called Senjutsu, Senjutsu to Ninjutsu. Um, Senjutsu, obviously. Uh, for all the people who aren't Naruto uh, watchers over there, <laughs> Senjutsu is uh, techniques of mountain sages. Um, comes from China, has to do with Taoism. Like, it's weird though, because in this book, some of it is related to Buddhism, and then a lot of it's related to Taoism, but I guess that's just like because the culture transferred to Japan and that kind of stuff happened, but. Um, when I was learning all this stuff years ago, it was always had to do with Taoism, had to do with the Chinese tradition brought to Japan. Then, you know, you have your Yamabushi, you have stuff like that. Um, and that's where this type of, uh, culture thing comes from. But the majority of what I see in this book, there's obviously, you know, the usual stories of, um, riding on clouds and stuff like that. Your basic, you know, your your Naruto, your uh, Dragon Ball stuff. You're riding on a um, crane or jumping around on a frog, living in the mountains, that kind of stuff. But there is a lot of psychology in here, and a lot of, uh, you know, whenever I get into this stuff, I like, oh, there's either one thing it's stuff that I know from the Bujinkan or stuff that's magician stuff, and there's magician stuff in here, which is also Bujinkan stuff, which is weird. The book is just, it's amazing. I saw a copy of it years and years and years ago on um, Yahoo Auction Japan, but I didn't get a chance to get it. But uh, this guy, Eric Shahan, Sean, I f you just um, tell me your how to pronounce your name so I can do it right in the things, but... um. Yeah. It's an awesome book. It's weird, too, because this is um, 1901, I think. This was a lecture given by this guy. And also, I was looking, too. I thought that this might have been Ito Gingetsu, too. And the author agrees that it might be Ito Gingetsu. So he was giving um, a lecture, just like the other book, where Fujiya Seiko was giving a lecture, and it was written down by someone. So parts of it are missing. So I think it was 1901. And it's weird because he discusses um, wave particle theory, you know, that would be proven later, you know, with Einstein and Bohr and Broglie and um, Bohm and all those guys. And he uses that to apply to consciousness, which is very interesting. And he also says that when people die, like the consciousness is not separate from a human, it's a result of the brain, so you there's thinking that anything's different is stupid, uh, you're dead, that's the end of it. But then he does say that you could live forever with these magical techniques, which is <laughs> pretty funny, but, you know, it's a very, it's a humanist worldview, and then it's just a crazy nonsense worldview. Yeah, he basically says, Senin are furofushi, which um, means unaging and undying. Uh, yeah. Lots of cool stuff. Then there's there's lots of history too about the various senin, uh, uh, sekizue, sekizui, um, which is what they're supposed to eat. Which is uh, you know, you break open a rock. There's always these stories of things breaking open rocks with tengu and senin and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you break open a rock and there's this gr uh, sekizui is um it's like a blue green kind of weird stuff yeah actually there's another one that's called it's called uh blue green what the hell is it called uh seite that's um 
the blue-green mud that's inside rocks, and uh, it's supposed to be soft like mochi, and you could eat it like that, and that's what they survived on, and then they drank, you know, the dew off of uh, chrysanthemum, or there's other stories where I think... It's in one of Soke's books, I'm pretty sure, where Takamatsu was talking about a senin who would uh, eat the air like mochi or something like that. So there's always these cool stories about that. And, you know, the book is, yeah, I'd say, like, what is it, maybe? This much, it's a short book, it's very small. This much is uh, Senjutsu, this little tiny, tiny bit is Ninjutsu. But they're related, they're basically the same thing. Um, on his Ninjutsu section, he talks about the idea of um, using, basically, Senjutsu, the ability to control another person's mind. I would say that that's Genjutsu, I would say that that's Saiminjutsu. And then he goes on to say that they're pretty much the same thing, but Senjutsu is much harder to accomplish, but I think that it's just, um, you know, I think it's control. Like, my first class training with my teacher, we, I did a technique, and then he, you know, whatever, ended up using a, he had a sword, and put the sword on my neck, and I had to get on the ground. So I felt him pressing the sword on my neck the whole time, and then I look up, and he's on the other side of the room, but, and then I realized that the sword was just sitting there, and it wasn't pressure, even though I felt like someone was holding it down. And that's Genjutsu. That's like one of two times that I've been caught in Genjutsu. And I believe that's like 100% what's in here. I don't think that you could use it to turn a rock into a sheep like this is discussed here. Or, you know, um, to fly. But... Yeah, when someone is stuck in an illusion, you create all those variables and set it up so that, you know, I couldn't see that he wasn't uh, behind me. I could feel the sword. I didn't feel him walk away. All that kind of stuff, he's controlling all of my senses. So that's what the reality was. That's the thing that's talked about in here. Senjutsu does control reality, but... um. Basically, reality is based on the perception of the person who's perceiving the reality. So therefore, <laughs> I'm going really deep into this because this this is a, an awesome book. So, all this crap can happen. And is it real? Is it not real? It's not real, but it's real. Like the uh, <laughs> uh, Shallow How, where he's like, uh, who's the perfect woman? And then uh, George Costanza says Wonder Woman. And then it was like, what if someone told you that she wasn't? And then um, George Costanza's like, well, she is. The fact that he perceives it is, that makes it a fact to him and for all intents and purposes. Then you're going into the damn problem of other minds, the car stuff. Uh, so, yeah. I am... As you can see, I enjoyed this book. So, yeah, basically, Senjutsu is Genjutsu, is Saiminjutsu, is Ninjutsu, all that kind of stuff. I don't believe you could fly around. I do like eating uh, pine nuts. <laughs> Another guy, long ago, when I first started training, was telling me about all the magical powers of pine nuts, how they make you see better, how they make you hear better. And, um, you know, they're just good, so whatever. So, <laughs> that's about it. It says that you have to go through Shinki uh, Oneru, which is um, uh, training, uh, Shugyo, Tenren, all this stuff. Yeah, it talks about the intense stuff, but it doesn't talk about it in detail, though, which is kind of annoying. And he has magical formulas in here, but then again, doesn't say what they are. Just like fire plus uh, dates, fire and uh, like water and like a weird combination of things. The book is awesome. I wish there was more to it, but you know, it was just a lecture that someone gave, so some of the stuff is missing. You don't really know the history, but 
The book is awesome. A lot of the stuff reminds me of a book that I have from the late 1800s um, by a person who, who uh, wrote his name as A. Medium. Uh, it's an American book, actually, on basically <laughs> similar stuff. Uh, when people were into that spiritualism stuff with Arthur Conan Doyle was running that kind of stuff with his wife and uh, Houdini was around and all that kind of stuff. So it's creating ways to have people believe certain things, creating um, mass hypnosis. I don't really believe in hypnosis. I believe in self-hypnosis as the only type of his hypnosis there is, but as we can see from things like uh, yellow bamboo and all the Sistema frauds in Russia, all that kind of stuff, uh, from Coco Ryu stuff, even from some guys in Bujin Khan, you can create illusions or not create illusions, people themselves can create illusions for themselves. And uh, it's all real. To them, at least. Doesn't work on everyone. And if it doesn't work, you're probably going to get your ass kicked, but... Well, <laughs> in any case, buy this book. This book is fucking awesome. I should say fuck less, because then it's easier for me to just put this kind of stuff on Amazon, but whatever. They're always off the top of my head. They're always just random nonsense. Buy that book, though. That book is pretty damn awesome. Uh, that's the end of that. Oh, gotta look more into finding books like this. The end.